Greetings friends, I'm Mark David, founder of the Institute for the Psychology of Eating. Let's talk about the psychology of cleansing and detoxing. More specifically, we're going to look at the mindset that helps the fasting process, the mindset that hinders it. Why should we choose to cleanse or fast in the first place and how to get the most out of the cleansing, fasting, detoxing experience? I'm using those terms interchangeably. You know, cultures around the globe have understood the cleansing process for eons of time. Fasting has been practiced by all major religions and has been part and parcel of native traditions around the world. On the most practical level these days, we live in a world that has become pretty toxic. The body is subject to tens of thousands of human-made chemicals that have never before existed on Earth. We're bombarded via air, water, and food. So it's reasonable to assert that if one was looking for nutrition practices that truly help to optimize the body and all its functions, then well-timed cleansing programs are a pretty powerful strategy. So you can think of a cleanse or fast as an intelligent nutritional defense based on the conditions we face at this point in our world and our evolution. But there's actually more value, a lot more value to cleansing and fasting and detoxing than a lot of people think. The process of cleansing not only helps to eliminate poisons that are stored in the body, the cleansing process has a fascinating tendency to emotionally detox us as well. Now, many people are surprised when they cleanse or fast that they often become unexpectedly anxious or angry or depressed or happy or high or actually any state you can imagine. Old memories can come to the surface when you detox, such as, such as past hurts or abuses or betrayals. And like the toxins in our bodies, these mental toxins are rising so that they can be fully metabolized, meaning emotionally digested and eliminated. So if you want to have the most successful cleanse or fast, get with the program that you're not just cleaning house in terms of your body, you're cleaning your emotional house as well. You know this, that body and mind exist on a continuum. They cannot possibly be pulled apart. And that's the good news. This helps us understand why the prophets of old and the native shamans, so many different traditions would go into the wilderness and fast. They weren't doing it to remove accumulated heavy metals in their system or to lose weight and look good in a bikini. They fasted for a vision. They fasted for insight, for an opening, for more of a cosmic connection. This is why any cleanse or fast that we undertake while we're under a lot of stress or when we have an intense work schedule or life is just super busy, those are generally not such a good idea in my experience. If you're going to do a cleanse, the ideal time is when you have time to breathe and relax and create some space and support the natural process of letting go and going within. Think of it as your own personal vision quest, but the kind where you don't need to go into the wilderness. When we cleanse under stress, a number of factors occur that shortcut the benefits. First, we impede the natural process of tuning into something higher or deeper. You know, the point of a cleanse is to let go of food to a great degree so the digestive system can go offline and the body can reroute metabolic energy into detoxification. By the way, that's exactly what happens when you go to bed at night. You aren't eating while you're sleeping, so your metabolic energy is funneled into detoxification as well as maintenance, healing, and repair of body tissue. Fasting works best when it happens, I think, in both body and soul, plain and simple. In an ideal fast or cleanse, then, we don't just let go of food, but we also let go of other non-food stimuli that puts demands on our psychic energy. I'm talking about television. I'm talking about the computer, social media, conversations you don't need to be in, and all the details of life that can clutter our minds and create anxiety or stress. What's more, if we're fasting while living in excess stress and anxiety, we actually shift the body into a physiologic fight or flight stress response. In this state, the body cannot efficiently lock into the physiologic mode of healing, repair, and maintenance of body tissue. In other words, the body is bracing to fight or flee just the opposite state of what we want. So, 
the key lesson here is that healing, repair, and maintenance of body tissue happens in the physiologic relaxation response. So if you're gonna cleanse or fast, just prepare to let go. Calm your life down, slow your motor, check in with yourself and remove any unnecessary stimulation. From there, as you go on whatever kind of cleanse or fast you choose, stay aware of what you're letting go of in your life. What needs to detox? Uh, do you need to let go of certain people, a job, certain ways of thinking, certain habits, or any self-attacking thoughts that hold you back? My friends, chances are if you pay attention to this, your cleansing experience will be significantly more powerful. There's so much more for us to detox in our life. That's the good news. And as we all know, letting go, which is another way of saying detox or cleansing, isn't always easy, but the benefits can't be matched. We can create a whole new beginning for ourselves in body, mind, heart, and soul. I hope this was helpful for you. Hey friends, we're so happy that you've joined us for another episode of The Psychology of Eating with Mark David. Are you loving these episodes? Then simply subscribe and you'll never miss an episode again. We'd also love it if you'd leave us a comment below so we can hear more about your own journey with food and body. And if you're curious about what we offer at the Institute for the Psychology of Eating, including our internationally acclaimed coach certification training that's rooted in dynamic eating psychology and mind-body nutrition, please head on over to our website, psychologyofeating.com. Until next time, take care. And remember, having the body you want starts with loving the body you have.